Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here to film full face of Catrice products. Now I have some new products here from Catrice. I also have some holy grills that I really really like. So if you're interested to see and hear my thoughts and see me creating a makeup look with only Catrice makeup then please keep on watching. Before we start I would like uh, every one of you that already haven't subscribed to subscribe and hit that like button for this video if you want to see more videos where I use drugstore makeup. But here are we today and I have plenty of Catrice products in front of me and I also have their new Catrice cosmetics makeup sponge with a case and if you can see uh, this is a new, I haven't used it, I thought that I would actually open it um, in front of you guys. This says this makeup sponge helps blend in makeup and give an even finish. Use the breathable silicone case to keep the sponge clean while carrying it with you. And let's just open it here. I will round to the bathroom and wet it before we start. Oh, it's squishy, this silicone. I thought it was hard plastic. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, that's interesting. Can you see how cute this is? I like that. And the sponge is kind of feels a little bit hard. In front of me, I do have a clean sponge that I just wet for um, the one that I like using for makeup, but I will run in with this one. Uh, the only issue is that this doesn't want to stand on the table, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I like that. I like that this is squishy. Um, I also have the new Lash Curler from Catrice. I have their new Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster. I have also their new Plumping Gel Powder Power Lipstick. I uh, have the new 3D Brow product, also the new mascara. We have the Mattifying Oil Controlling Primer. We have also the new All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder, 12 hours long wear. We also have the Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. We have also the new Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream Concealer in two shades, uh, 110 Ivory, and this is light beige, so two shades. And what else do we have? Uh, this new, yeah, eyelashes, some single eyeshadows new, we also have some um, lip cushion, hemp seed oil, coconut oil, protecting multi balm for the lips. And yeah, there are a couple of more products in here. So yes, I, oh, before I need to show you, of course I need to show you. Also the Cheek Love Oil Infused Blush. Um, this is, a, cause you see my ring light instead. Uh, Blooming Hibiscus and we also have the highlighter. But we'll go into deep when we are there, <laughs> when we're there to use it. I will run to wet my sponge and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. This sponge is a little bit firmer than uh, the sponges I usually use. And I feel like, maybe it's not my cup of tea, but we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind. I feel like it's a little bit firmer. Sorry, I forgot my mic. Sorry guys, it's a little bit firmer than the sponges I usually use, but we'll see. I have the other one <laughs> if I want to change it. But we are going to go and use the Catrice, the mattifying oil control primer with every ever matte and willow bark extract. The packaging look like this and kind of reminds me of the Smashbox primers right now. This says the primer to minimize shine, reduce pores and optically and prolo prolong makeup wear. Lightweight and oil free for matte flawless finish and well cared skin uh, with ever matte dermatologi dermatologically pr approved. And yeah, the tube produces with 100% green power. power. What does mean? I don't know what that's, that means, but it's sealed. 
I like using um, oil controlling primer because I do have a very oily T-zone and usually during the day I get very oily. So we'll use that. It's thick. Really thick. A kind of weird consistency. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't have any set. Oh, okay. I squeezed out a little bit too much. That's a lot of waste. You won't use all of that. It can happen sometimes when you are not careful. Okay, so it immediately feels cool. It feels kind of like a um, uh, powder to cream product. Oh, got a lot in my hair. Powder to cream product. I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and viewfinder that's over here. So it goes into the skin really fast. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, but I can feel it on my skin, which is not a bummer. I mean, I don't care about it. Okay, we are going to go in in one of the foundations that I actually really love. And if you want to see me trying other foundations from Catrice, you can subscribe to my channel and search in my review videos because I do have a plenty of videos where I try different foundations, especially from Catrice. But I wanted to go with a foundation I really like and I know it works for me and I'm actually out of that one. So I'm uh, going in with this um, HD liquid coverage foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. I've been using it for years. And it's the only foundation I can actually trust. Uh, right now, I, I do like the Dior's one. It's what I'm using, but I have that review too. But I love this one. This is so much cheaper and really good. I just hate the packaging though. And this is number 30. I know if usually I always go for this shade, so. And because I'm going to try different foundations or foundation products from Catrice, I do like to go in with a um, foundation that I know how it works. And we are going to build it up because I do like full coverage. And let's go in with the sponge. Okay, definitely firm. Okay, like always, this is just a perfect foundation. It goes on beautifully. It actually goes really well with this, um, what's called the, the primer too. Okay, so I do like how it looks on my skin, uh, like always. And this primer really make everything look good. We'll see how it's going to hold during the day, but so far so good. And I am self tan, so I do feel like this foundation is matching me perfectly. But I, like I said, I always go with this shade. Uh, sand beige and this is with skin perfecting Nessia mate. I don't know if you can see this on the cap up here, but this wasn't You founder This wasn't on the other packages that I tried before and I used like 10 20 of these before but I do have in front of me three different concealers I have the light beige concealer cream with full coverage in number 20. I do have number 10 ivory also. Looks like this. I do have this one that's 18 hours hydrating true skin high coverage concealer, hyaluronic acid and waterproof. I don't know if I used this one before, I'm not really sure. And then I have the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer Catrice, also this one. Haven't tried that one, but I did try this concealer, Clean High Cover Concealer from Catrice before. And this one I did like, but not as much as I thought I would. I thought that I would like it more than I did, but I don't use it. So it means I didn't really like it that much. Let's go in this one. This is the new... Conce ultimate cam camouflage cream looks like this okay it's thick and this needs to be warmed up let's see i will use my finger Okay, so it's a little bit darker than I would like, but it's definitely full coverage. 
I don't know if you can see any difference, but this is with the concealer and this is without the concealer. Now, this is perfect for this foundation because it's almost the same shade and it actually feels light and it's hydrating. It looks hydrating, doesn't look dry, but definitely full coverage. Um, I like that. Let's go in. I will try the other one too. Just going in a little bit on the other eye. I think this will be perfect to spot conceal too. Okay, I like it. Doesn't look dry. It doesn't look cakey. It smoothed everything out. I will definitely continue using this one. I like this one a lot. Okay, let's go in with the this concealer. This is the True Skin High Coverage Concealer, Hyaluronic Acid and Waterproof. I do want to go in with this one. I tried this foundation. I have the review of this foundation on my channel. If I remember when I put this video together, upload on YouTube, I will try to put as many as as many videos of me using Catrice products or reviewing Catrice products on the down in the description box. So you can watch after this one if you if you're curious. But I do have a video where I try this product. This is a comfortable high coverage concealer with moisturizing hydro boost complex. Won't settle into fine lines, fresh and even soft matte finish. Um, long lasting waterproof. So let's see. Oh, I like the applicator. It looks like, uh, like um, a heart. Usually the lipsticks have this kind of applicator. We are going to go over this one. I know maybe that's a mistake, but it will actually line up, uh, make everything a little bit lighter. I can't talk anymore. Definitely feels hydrating cooling. Oh, it pops up. You press it down I like that. Okay. We're going with the Catrice sponge too. I actually liked it for the foundation here, to be honest. It's a little bit firmer than the ones that I'm used to, but it's not terrible. I'm definitely liking this concealer. It's full coverage. It went on top of that other concealer, but it doesn't look cakey product that I have that's left on the sponge. I like to go in here without adding more concealer. We don't need more. Oh, that looks good. I really like how that looks. And th these two together actually worked beautifully, both concealers. And the foundation is just true match. It's just perfect. Love this foundation. Now, we before we go in, I do want to go in with this lip cushion multi balm so my lips get a little bit more shred before we go in with other product products this is hug your lips multi balm enriched with carry carrying oils and vitamin e for dry chapped lips and other dry areas so this is something you can use on other areas that's really interesting it's also sealed i think i would like to use that on the lips while we are applying the rest of the makeup and let just everything settle let's see how it looks now, if you can see, Whoop, scared me. Um, yeah, thick, creamy, feels comfortable like a balm. I like that so far. We do have the new All Matte Plus Shine Free Powder. And I have it in shade translucent. I usually go for translucent because I like translucent and I feel like it's something that I can wear. It does not depending on what kind of uh, suntan or how pale I am. Uh, long lasting ultra fine shine control powder with light reflection pigments for satin matte and even complexion suitable for every skin type. Ooh, oily free. Oh, I hope it's not shiny because I don't like that. Uh, let's watch it. Oh, it does definitely has like a satin finish, but it's not shimmery. Let's just remove. I will try it with a brush before we go in with a sponge. Usually I like to go in with a sponge and press the powder under my eyes, but I'm kind of scared to do that today. So I'm going to, to use the Huda Beauty's Face and Baker Blend brush, but I'm going to use this fluffy side and use some uh, 
apply a lot of powder on that. I don't know if you can see any difference. I can't really magnify it a little bit. It looks nice under the eyes. We are though going to go and use the sponge to try and make it, I don't know, have more under the eyes. Because I like going in with the sponge. Let's see. No difference at all. I mean, it goes nice under the skin, nothing special. Let's use a fluffy brush. We're going to use the Cash Beauty number one, this fluffy brush, and set the whole face with this powder. Okay, so the face looks really nice. I have like a dot of shimmer here, I don't know from where. Uh, everything look, looks nice and smooth. I really like how powder kind of went in together with this foundation. It feels like I don't have any powder on and it feels like not in a negative way, way. Actually, does it look cakey or heavier? Usually when you set everything, it looks just a little bit heavier, but this one doesn't. So I like that. Let's go in for the bronzer. I love bronzers. If you know me and you are old subscriber, you know I'm obsessed with definitely makeup, but I love bronzers too. And I definitely love bronzy look. Let's open it. This says to be water resistant, medium to dark skin. Now they didn't have the light one. They have this one that's for medium to dark skin, which could be a little bit too dark for me. It says universal bronze, but we are going to go with a light hand. And if you can see here, I swatched it. We are going to go with a light hand and then dip it up. I think when I wanted to buy the light one, it was out of stock because I wanted to buy both of them. And for the bronzer, we are going to go in with this uh, BH Cosmetics number two. I think everything is kind of went off, but I love this brush for bronzer. And just, let's go. Okay, so I was scared that it's going to be heavy directly but it kind of looks to be really buildable. I'm going to go in with one side just to see any difference, but it's definitely really, how to say, buildable, blendable, and I can't even, to be honest, I can't even see if I'm putting it out. It just blends into the skin beautifully, and this is I don't know if you can see any difference, but this size is where we have a little bit of the bronzer. This side has no bronzer. I like that. Okay. I don't know how deep this will go or how much we can build up this bronzer. I'm not going to do that either, but I'm just thinking about people that are deeper have deeper complexions than I do right now. I mean, I'm kind of... I'm not pale pale because I have self-tan, but I mean... I don't think this will be really too pigmented for the those beautiful darkest shades or skin tones. I don't know. But I'm loving this bronzer. I'm loving how it melts into the skin together with the foundation and the powder and everything looks smooth. I don't know how everything looks on the camera, but in real life everything looks so nice uh, married together. I would like to, here is my swatch of this bronze. I do want to go in and swatch it again and see if we can, on top, how deep you can actually build it up. Yeah, it's medium, but I don't know how this could be for medium to dark. Uh, darker skin but I mean it's a beautiful bronzer buildable but I don't know how darker you can go but let's continue oh I'm loving this so much okay one more thing I'm obsessed with is obsessed with is blushes and I do have this is the Nakaya F15 brush I don't know I don't think this is a blush brush but we are going to use it for the blush and I do have this cheek love oil infused blush 
and number 10 blooming hibiscus let's open it so you don't blend this is how it looks uh, definitely satin finish i'm not a big fan of these kind of textures or shiny highlight highlighted blushes but let's watch it okay that's a nice shade so we're going to go in with this brush a little bit powdery i mean it picked up a lot of product kind of nervous to destroy this face makeup that i'm so obsessed with but let's go Okay, this is definitely pigmented. Woo. So I do like plenty of blushes, uh, of blush look I have. I love blushing, blushy cheeks and uh, pigmented blush. Uh, I like this shade. Um, it does exaggerate my pores, so maybe it's not the best for the... Uh, textured skin here textured skin but it's not terrible i mean it looks really nice i like the shade it kind of goes i think this will go beautifully with my favorite highlighter for pat mcgrath um this is the divine rose highlighter if you can see it this highlighter and it kind of looks to be this one is definitely more peachy. It's not highlighter, but I feel like tones are kind of going nice together. Um, and on the skin definitely kind of reminds me of each other. The tone. Oh, this hurts. I love this one, but it hurts when it's on my face. I mean, I didn't destroy my face. On my head. I didn't destroy my face. I feel like it's a nice blush. Definitely for those that like more satin finish to the face or to the blushes. I like the I like the blush. I will definitely use it. I'm not hating it. Uh, I just feel like you need to be a little bit careful with it because it is pigmented. And this lip balm feels really comfortable. We are going to go and use a highlighter. And the full light highlighter, I do have also the oil infused highlighter, Glow Love. Let's just open. This is in shade 10 Glowing Peony, and it says. Highlighter powder infused with caring oil complex, smooth mineral baked powder texture for soft glowy skin or cheeks. And I feel like this is going to be really good to get that wet look because I like how oil infused blush looks kind of glowy and nice. And for this one, this I will use the Cash Beauty highlighter brush number five. And let's just look at it before we destroy it. This is how it looks. Let's swatch it. And there you go. I don't know if you can see, but let's use it. A little bit powdery. Okay. Okay, this is something special. It feels like it's bringing... <laughs> this is really strange. It looks like it's bringing the, the glow from within. And it doesn't look shimmery. It doesn't look... It just looks so smooth. I love that. This is really interesting for me. So far, so good. I'm kind of happy with all of the products that I use right now. Nervous to see if I won't destroy it with the, the, I, the what is called the eyeshadow that I actually should have used before we went in with this makeup. But you learn with time, and probably they. I hope they won't be too, uh, what is called, too powdery. Now, for the eyebrows, I do have two products, and I do want to try both of them. Uh, first, I got the Catrice 3D Brow Two-Tone Pomade Waterproof, and I have it in brown. I think it's dark. Waterproof, easy to use, two-tone for various brow styles. Here we have information about the product, how to use it. And I do like pomades. This is the packaging. And I like how they are separated. 
I like that. Okay, so there is separation in between them. Usually when they do this duo type of product, they kind of mush the products together, but I'm glad they didn't. Uh, and then I do have the new Catrice On Point Brow Liner. And I think I want to try with this one. I have it in shade Dark Brown. Let's see, I used the Isadora for not so long ago, I think it was, and it bleeded on my arm, but it didn't bleed on my eyebrows, but I didn't actually like it. So I'm kind of nervous to see this one. It definitely doesn't bleed. Okay, let's go. Okay, this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. So I'm not hating this product, but it does take some learning curl. Um, but I'm going to go in with this waterproof instead, pomade to see on my other eyebrow if we can fix that. And I do want to clean my favorite brush. I do love going in with the Sosu brush number 209 that has this beautiful thin, I don't know, brush. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with light here in the beginning and then we'll see if I need to dark it up. Okay, so it's definitely thicker. Let's swatch it. Oh, I like this shade. And it looks to be kind of buildable. I think it's a little bit too warm for my eyebrows, but we'll make it work. Honestly, I found like this pomade, it's a little bit easier to work with than the pencil, which uh, the pen or what it's called, brown liner. Um, I feel like this is, I'm going to go through this liner really fast, but I mean, I feel like the brow pomade gave me that more natural look. Now, this powder pomade looks to be more like on that powdery side. I don't know if you can see, I mushed it around on my hand. It doesn't look as creamy as that Anastasia this one, but I like that. I'm going to go in and fix that other one and let's move on with the makeup. Let's go in with the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to go use another eyeshadow primer. I don't actually have or can't find my Catrice eyeshadow primer, but I'm going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics All Eyes On Me eyeshadow primer. And I'm actually trying it out for my big review video where I try uh, so many eyeshadow primers. And I'm trying out this one right now. I actually wear all of the primers a couple of times two or three times and then I uh, switch to another one and then I go back to when the wear is kind of different to see and use it again and see if I get the same wear test. Uh, I'm obsessed with everything that I tried right now except that liner eyebrow product but everything else the face makeup looks flawless i love it but we are going to try some uh, catrice eyeshadows and i do have a couple of them here in front of me i don't know if you can hear my neighbors kids playing outside screaming and crying and being loud but i have a couple of shades i have in mellow mouth that's 320 that's this kind of purple shade that's matte, it says matte here. Then I also have the shade silicone, silicone violet, 160. And this is, I think, the shimmery shade or satin finish, shimmer, I know. Kind of purpley color too. Then I do have another mat that's number Take Me to Desert and it's number 300. I love the packaging of these eyeshadows. That one is also matte and it says matte on it. Then another mat I have, it's a little bit deeper matte, more deep brown matte and this is the shade Gold Brew Coffee 340 looks to be like this and then I have another matte that's more dark plum shade it's say you'll be wine 310 
there you go and then i have another shimmer that's more like that peachy golden that's called cheeky peach peachy 330 looks like this so i went for kind of two themes i got these two matte kind of brownish browny shades or more nude shades and then i went with this peach so they three could go it together and then i also went for these kind of purpley colors i went with a more two mattes and then a shimmery so i don't know which one i will use today i do have let's look at the lipstick now what lipstick do i have i have one shade of this plumping gel lipstick and this is the shade Magnolia bon Bocu, bon Boncute 20. I know, can't pronounce that one. Let's see the shade, how it looks before we go in so we can see what it will match with. Oh, that's kind of like a pinkish color. It smells nice. Um, I think it will go nice with this plummy shade. So let's go with that. I will go in with this purpley mellow mauve color all over my um, crease. Okay, so for the crease color, I am going to go in with this brush that I got from my friend Valerie. This is Beauty ba Bakery's sponge. It used to be a perfect blending brush. And we are going to go into this shade and put that on the crease. A little bit powdery, but it, that never never bothers me, except maybe today if I destroy this beautiful ma uh, face makeup. Okay, so it goes very uh, soft on the eyelid. This matte is beautiful, but if you have vis visible veins like I do on my eyelids, you need to use a primer that's more pigmented that will cover that because this is not too dark or too pigmented, so it kind of covers everything of that. Uh, but I mean, I'm not hating it. Hating it, it's very pigmented and it definitely is easy to use and blend. This color is beautiful. It goes on very nice on the eyelid. I would like to go in with this other shade too. The Take Me to the Desert, this kind of uh, nudish color. And I do want to go in with the Luna Beauty number no. 3 brush. I just want to kind of blend the edges a little bit here. This one is definitely deeper than I thought it would, but it kind of blends nice together with this purple. And I did went as high as I could because um, I'm going to try something. Okay, let's go in to the darker purple shade. I do like the packaging of these. Uh, let's go into this pl uh, plummy shade. This is the Say You'll Be Wine and with the same brush from Luna Beauty. Deep up the other corner. These colors are easy to work with, but you do need to be careful when you use them because they will they like to go everywhere. So be try to keep it and slowly build it up because otherwise they like to kind of uh, yeah, just go everywhere. They are very blendable. And it builds up beautifully. So I do like these colors. Okay, so I like that. We are going to go in and I'm going to use my fingers for this sil silicone violet, violet, I don't know what it's called, this purpley shade. It looks to be more like a satin finish than a shimmer, but I'm, I mean, I'm for that. Why not? Oh, wow, this is a beautiful shade. Oh my God, I was, I'm surprised. Definitely gives me that nice wet look. Going back just to fix this edge. So let's watch this purple shade so you can see how beautiful these are. So this darker shade, like I said, it's Say You'll Be Wine 310. This shade next to it, this here, is number 320 mellow mauve and then we have that 
one that I have all over my eyelid and it's called silicone violet 160 okay then we have 340 cold brew coffee cold brew coffee dark brown then we have shade called 300 take me to the desert this one here and then I have that peachy color that's 330 cheeky peachy oh wow I mean these are nice but these mattes do like to go everywhere and uh, not like a fallout but they are blending a little bit too much and I've never seen those kind of shades um, before but they do, do like to go everywhere on the eyes we are going to go and finish the makeup and I'm just without adding more color I'm going to be that dark plummy shade all over the eyelid with that rest of the eyeshadow that I have on the brush I'm going to go in with a highlighter and I do want to apply it in my I want to apply it here okay so now we finished the eyes but we are all going to go in with the ultra black kayal pencil from catrice easy glide it says and we, we do have the white one too 40 white it says smooth gliding kayal pencil with intense color to contour the eye with vitamin e i don't know this doesn't say it's waterproof but i'm going to put this on my upper lash line This Kayol pencil is really nice. I don't know how long wear it is, but we'll see. And we are going to use the white one in my lower. I need my both hands to do this. Okay, that's very intense, very white. But we'll see how it's going to go when we go in with the mascara. But before we do that, let's use the Catrice uh, Lash curler. It says use the curler before applying mascara to protect the lashes. To protect the lashes, okay. One the uh, eyelash curler, and curl carefully. Place upper. Yeah, doesn't say anything special. Let's use the eyelash curler. I like the details of this eyelash curler. I don't know if you can see. You can see how this is kind of different eyelash curler than I'm used to. And I'm not used to these kind of eyelash curlers. I've never had any that looks like this. Kind of looks like it's going to separate the eyelash. It's kind of scared, but excited too. So let's try it. Oh, scary. I mean, I don't know if it's even doing anything. I don't know if it's even... If it then it even catches any of my eyelashes, but mm, eyelash curl, it's not really my favorite. Okay, let's go in with this beautiful new deep bla black volume and lengthening mascara. Uh, Max it from Catrice. Okay. This kind of looks to be a really good mascara. This is how it looks. The packaging. Love that purpley color. Okay, the wand is interesting. Very spiky. Not really my kind of ones, but... Okay, this is one coat of the mascara. I don't know if you can see any difference. Uh, I do. <laughs> but mm, okay, I like that so far. Okay, so this is me using two coats of the mascara. I'm not going to go in and use more because I felt like it's a beautiful mascara and really made my eyelashes not as long, long, but kind of did something that I really like with my lashes. But I feel like if I continue to build it up, it's going to uh, clump. But I like the mascara so far and I like the eyeshadows. I mean, it's not the best, best quality because I feel like they are going to fade uh, easier. But I mean, I like it. I feel like the makeup so far is good. I do want to go in with eyelashes before we go in with the rest of the makeup. This is the Catrice uh, single eyelashes. T three different lengths. Lengths. Uh, this is how it looks. 
And I do want to try to kind of put this on. I've never used these kind of lashes at all, never. It just took me a, almost a half an hour to figure out that this is something you push out. Okay, stupid me. We do have a glue here. I'm definitely to try to use that. Okay, I have no idea how this is working, so I'll try to put some of these on my eyelash. I would use this uh, glue that I got with this product. This was really the hardest thing I had to do. I'm not don't know if I'm a big fan. I cannot put four here and four here. I don't know if I'm a big fan of applying these. I think uh, like regular lashes are much easier to apply than the seagulls, but I'm not, I'm kind of new to this game, so I need to play with these a little bit more. So far, uh, if you are not familiar with this, like I'm not, I would just tell you to stay out of it because this takes a long time. But I mean, I think they'll lie. I, I think mascara did its job, except this didn't feel feel good. Okay, let's remove the lip balm. And the lip balm I do like. We are going to go in with the lipstick. I don't have a lip liner, but so, but that, that doesn't matter. Let's go in with this lipstick. Magnolia Bon Cute. I can't pronounce this, but this is the packaging. And this is the shade. Let's go with this lipstick. It's so very, very creamy. Okay, I feel like this lipstick is very comfortable, though I do need to go in with a lip liner because I feel like maybe it will be, it's too creamy. But I went for this color because I don't have this color in other lipsticks. And my God, I feel like these lashes are everywhere. Like I didn't apply it properly and it's like, mm, it looks like a disaster in very close, hated, but like I said, this lipstick is cute color. I don't have anything like this, so that's where I got it. But let's go in with this Volume Extreme Up Booster from Catrice Sore Mood Booster. And I find, find this very interesting. It has that citrusy scent and it's kind of like light green or lime green. You can see it's going to be destroyed because we are going to go over top on top of this lipstick, but I'm going to clean it before I put it back. Mm, I'm waiting for something to happen. Okay, I got something, some in my mouth and it's definitely tingly. Okay, guys, so this is me using full face of Catrice makeup, and I'm obsessed. I loved almost everything. The only things I didn't like is these because I'm not used to it. I don't know if this is good product or not. I'm just not used to using these kind of eyelashes. I feel like I didn't do, do a good job and I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, I also am not big fan of this eyebrow product, but I will definitely continue playing with it. It didn't bleed at all. Now I've been sitting on my hand. It's this line here. It's been sitting on my hand for over an hour and it didn't bleed. So I think this was definitely going to be a long wearing product but I just feel like I need some time to study it and uh, play with it like with these eyelashes. Uh, everything else was perfect. I really like the love the primer. I also like the foundation. The concealer was very good. I didn't play with this concealer liquid camouflage but I will definitely use this in another video. The sponge, I was kind of surprised that I like this sponge as much as I did. It's, uh, now it's not clean, but um, it's firmer than I'm used to, but uh, it worked good. I like all of the eyeshadows, worked beautifully. They are really powdery. They are um, easy to work, but it's nothing terrible. Let's just set everything. I forgot to use this oil control matte fixing spray. Now I've used this before. It's one of the products that I'm that I know works or have a hair on it. I know this product works because I've been using it before, so it's nothing new to me. It's definitely a product that I know works. Oh my god, these lashes are terrible. <laughs> 
can't look at myself. Highlighter, I really, uh, I really enjoy the highlighter. The blush is nice. Everything, but the, the bronzer is amazing. I love the bronzer. I think the bronzer is definitely my favorite product in here. But guys, let me know down below if you tried any of these products or you're curious to try it. I also like the powder. I mean, uh, really surprised how everything worked. I'm really, really surprised, guys, how everything worked. But uh, though everything was mattifying, I feel like I don't look matte. Uh, I don't look uh, weird, <laughs> except the lashes, but... <laughs> Everything else worked beautifully, guys. Let me know down below if there is any product you want me to try out or you're curious to know more about this product, let me know down below. And I have to say this plumping product, it's definitely freshing but not painful. Just saying. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that not notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.